Three people have been killed in a knife attack in the French city of Nice. It happened near a church and the mayor of Nice has said that everything suggests it was a terrorist attack. The suspect, who witnesses say tried to behead one of his victims, was shot by police and is now being treated in hospital. President Macron is on his way to the city. Paul Adams has this report. Chaos and terror in the heart of another French city. Streets closed, swarming with police and paramedics, the stunned aftermath of France's latest horrific attack. It took place around nine in the morning in the city's neo-Gothic basilica of Notre Dame. Shouting Allahu Akbar, the attacker stabbed three people, including the caretaker. One of the victims is thought to have been beheaded. Another, a woman, fled to a nearby cafe before dying. We heard many people um, shouting in the streets. So we, 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 we saw by the windows that there were many, many, many policemen uh, coming. And uh, then we heard gunshots, many gunshots, and more and more uh, policemen. The city's mayor called for unity, but said it was clear this was terrorism. Nice. Nice, perhaps more than any other place in France, today is paying far too heavy a price by once again being a victim of Islamic fascism. There is no doubt about the meaning of this act, given that the perpetrator did not stop repeating Allah Akbar in front of us while he was receiving medical treatment. In Paris, a minute's silence in the National Assembly as word of events in Nice began to emerge. President Macron is travelling to Nice, with the whole country now entering a new coronavirus lockdown. He has two major crises on his hands. France is still in shock after the murder of middle school teacher Samuel Paty, most French citizens proudly defending their country's secular values. For Nice, memories too of 2016, when 86 people celebrating Bastille Day were killed by a Tunisian immigrant driving a truck. But around the Muslim world, there's anger at what some describe as President Macron's anti-Islam agenda. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has accused the French president of encouraging Islamophobia. Turkey's President Erdogan has urged Turks to boycott French goods and said Monsieur Macron needed a mental health check. Against this heated international backdrop and with an investigation in Nice just beginning, reports of violence elsewhere in another southern city, Avignon, the police shot dead a suspected Islamist who was threatening passers-by. And in Saudi Arabia, a guard at the French consulate in Jeddah was attacked. The guard was wounded and the assailant taken into custody. Paul Adams, BBC News. And we can join Hugh Schofield in Paris. Uh, what is the latest you're hearing on these horrific events in Nice, Hugh? Well, the, the latest is that the President Macron has arrived at the scene and is talking right now to the mayor at the Basilica and uh, talking to police officers as well. Uh, and he may or may not uh, have a few words for the press coming up uh, shortly. Um, meanwhile, of course, the investigation is underway and it'll seek to establish, A, the identity of this attacker. We still don't know who, who it is. And B, did he have any accomplices? Was he in any way influenced by this climate uh, that Paul Adams was referring to there in his report, this climate of menace and threat against France, which has certainly grown over the last uh, few weeks? Uh, the, the, co the context is all here. It's very important. It is a time at which France definitely feels itself in the firing line from extremist groups in the Middle East. Certainly online, their calls for attacks against France have been stepped up in recent weeks in the wake of the trial of uh, related to the Charlie Hebdo massacre and the, the republication by Charlie Hebdo of, of the cartoons and then the killing, of course, two weeks ago of the, the teacher Samuel Paty and, uh, and the re restatement then by President Macron of France's belief and um, the fact that it will stand by its secular values. That has been spun, uh, the French would say, twisted by people in the Middle East, many in the Middle East, into uh, an into an, being interpreted as a kind of anti-Islamic position by the, uh, by, the, by the French authorities, with Macron being accused of, you know, enacting racist, even sort of 1930s-style fascist actions against, against Muslims um, in, in France. And it's in that context that the government here is very aware that this attack has taken place. All right, Hugh, many thanks indeed. Hugh Schofield there for us in Paris.